Hi guys, welcome to today's Amazon Accelerator tip where I'm going to show you how to go ahead and send off a shipment into Amazon. So picking up from the last video, you can see that we're in the Working Shipments tab. If you want to get into that screen, what you can go to do is go to Inventory, Manage FBA Shipments. Now, what we've done in the previous screen is we've actually created a shipping plan this means that we haven't actually finalized it and turned it into a shipment. So if it's in that stage, it means you can still go ahead and add products in. So for now, I'm just going to assume that we're going to put two of each product and I'm going to go ahead and click continue. Once we hit continue, we get taken to the prepare product screen. I will do a further video on this to cover it in more detail. But for now, all you need to know is if a product does need preparation, Amazon will advise to us on this screen that it needs and requires preparation. We have two options where we can select the seller or Amazon to do the product preparation. If we choose Amazon, they will do it for a fee of 25p per unit. For now, I'm just going to assume that the seller does it and then we hit continue. The next page we get taken to is the label products page. Again, I will do a further video on this, but basically we have two options. Either the seller applies the barcode or Amazon applies the barcode. Now, we just need to place the barcode to cover any existing product barcode so that when Amazon scans it at the warehouse, they don't get confused. We can then print these barcodes by hitting the print label for this page tab and the PDF will be generated with the barcodes. After that, we can hit continue. We then get taken to a review shipment plan screen where we get one final chance to review our shipment. If we're happy with it, we can go ahead and click approve shipment. Once we hit approve, we won't be able to add or modify the instructions that we've given to Amazon. So I'll click approve shipment and now you'll see that an interesting thing will happen. What's actually occurred is if we go to inventory manage FBA shipments. So we can see if we click on shipping plans that our shipping plan has now moved from a shipping plan to an actual shipment. If we hit work on shipment in this next screen we then get the chance to populate some information to help Amazon understand what the details of the shipment they're going to receive is going to look like. So are we going to be sending in individual boxes? Are you sending in pallets? Who's your partnered carrier? Are you going to use UPS or are you going to use your own courier service? In the next section, we need to advise Amazon what the contents of each box is and how many boxes we'll be sending in. If we have more than one different type of item or SKU, we need to select everything in one box. For this shipment, I'm just going to assume everything is in one box. The next thing we need to do is we need to input some information about the weight and the dimensions of the box. I'm going to put it in as 16 kilos and I will then just put in the dimensions of the box. So say 50 centimeters by 60 by 40. I'm just making this up. And then you'll see here what you need to do is, is any box that's greater than 15 kilos, you need to affix these barcodes to the outside of the box. So you just again print them off, they come in PDF form. From here we then just click confirm and we'll see that this calculator button comes up and we click calculate and this will tell us what the shipment cost is going to be. From here we see we're going to be charged £9.48. If we agree we then tick that box, click accept charges And again, we get another print box labels. And I'll just click on that. So you can see some labels that need to be stuck onto the Amazon box. This one's for the UPS and the top one's for the Amazon warehouse itself. So once you've stuck that on, you just need to go ahead and click complete shipment. Just a word of note. If you've suddenly gone through this whole process, realize that you've forgotten to add in some items, you can go ahead and void the charges and 
start the process again. Thanks for listening, guys. That brings me to the end of today's Amazon Accelerator tip.